Uh, well, at first we were a little apprehensive about it. Um, not sure what the mess level was going to be. Not sure what the noise level was going to be. The dust, things like that. So, um, you know, it was just it was all questionable until they started those first couple of scoops. It's been slower, um, but coinciding with the uh, school getting out, it always kind of gets slower at that point in time. We're a little bit slower than that, um, yet to be determined. We're trying to get out there on our Facebook page and, and other social media and let people know how to get here because all the businesses in the area are still open and have full access right now through Del High Street. During the project, they've given us a pretty good breakdown of schedule. Um, so I think Grace is going to be closed for a little bit longer. Um, Del High should be open in a couple of weeks. Then after July 5th, they're going to flip it, and this whole area will be open while they do uh, the second half. So our, our biggest portion of downtime would be four weeks, according to their schedule. We didn't know what was going on at first, and the guys had dug some things up to replace sewer. And then a couple days later, they started digging and peeling up the, the pavement, and we saw all these pavers down there and uh, they're thought to have been from the 1920s and then the guys said they had dug up um, a couple of pieces of old trolley rail out there so um, like I said we're still trying to find some, uh, some old photos of the area of those uh, in that era um, to kind of put together with it but um, it was just kind of a neat find to see underneath there and the guys uh, on the crew have been great about kind of telling us about that and showing us this and that and the other thing and very helpful during the process about that um, we were we were kind of questioning it originally but then we went down and talked with uh, the city engineer staff and the staff that are actually designing this roundabout um, and they showed us some real-time models of actual traffic counts in the area so when it's all said and done I think it's going to enhance traffic flow I also think it's going to enhance the area uh, aesthetically um, it's going to be a lot nicer they're going to put some nice decorative lighting in um, and I just think it'll be a, a, a good enhancement to the area overall